Hello and welcome to another Quick Logic Pro X tutorial where today I'll be showing you how to do reverse reverb. Um, as you can see, I've already got up an audio channel here and recorded in a short two bar loop, which I'll give you a play of now. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Cool, so nice and simple. Um, first thing you want to do is control click or right click on the audio that you want the reverse reverb to come into and select bounce in place. Up pops this window here. Um, I'm just going to quickly rename that audio too. Um, I'm just going to highlight two options um, that I've chosen. Uh, you can either leave this bit of audio as it is, mute it or delete it. Um, I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. Um, second option that I've chosen is to include an audio tail in my bounced region. Um, which you'll see in a moment. So select OK, bounces that down, up pops a new audio channel uh, with your bounced audio and there is the slight tail. Cool. Um, so on this channel you want to go over to audio effects, down to reverb, select your chosen reverb and you want a fairly wet mix for best results. Um, so that's drenched in reverb now. Give it a quick listen. One, two, three, four. Cool, so loads of reverb on that. Um, next thing you want to do is either double click the bit of audio or go up to the scissor icon at the top here. Click the file tab. Um, just as a quick note actually, if you don't see the file tab initially, go up to Logic Pro X at the top here, Preferences and Advanced at the end and just select this checkbox next to audio. I've got them all selected um, for ease, um, but yeah, select that checkbox and you'll be able to see the file tab. Cool, so once you're in the file tab, go to functions drop down box and reverse the audio. Oh, sorry, make sure you reverse the right bit of audio. Yeah, so you want this second one here and reverse, there we are. You can minimise that window now. So that's got reverb on it and it's reversed. Um, just to show you what it sounds like. So fairly weird. <laughs> um, next thing you want to do is control click or right click the audio. Bounce in place again. Call it audio 3 to make things easy. And select OK. Now, as you can see, there is a really long reverb tail on that. Um, just quickly zoom out so you can see the whole of that region. Um, now, you can mute that second bit, and the two bits of audio that we're going to be focusing on now is this last one and first one. So I'll just move this last one up to the second row. Um, now, we need to reverse this bit of audio back. So double click the region or scissor icon again. File tab, functions, and reverse. Simple. Now the last thing we need to do is just line up the two regions. Um, it might not be perfect, but you can mess around with that to get it sounding uh, just right how you like it. Um, and we'll hear the reverb, the reverse reverb going in. Um, into this original section here. So, just give that a quick play. One, two, three, four. So, yeah, so um, if you don't want to hear that uh, bit of reverse reverb, this extra bit, you just need to slice that, just edit it. There we are. And get rid of it, whatever you want to do. Um, and then you'll have the wet going into the dry like so. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so as I can as I said, you can mess around with it um, and get it sounding right for you. Um, yeah, so that is how you do reverse reverb uh, in Logic Pro X. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe.